everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO, and today I want to talk a little bit about domain names. So and I think everyone knows that, you know, regardless if you're signing up for our basic hosting, our reseller hosting, or our VPS hosting, you need a, a good domain name to start your website or to use for your um, digital agency or your reseller hosting company. And, you know, I was recently asked by someone, and it was a fair question, you know, why is all the good domains taken? And I have to agree, you know, that's frustrating, but but, you know, really why is the Internet is getting more and more popular each and every day? You know, in the United States, the Internet really started to take off in the late 90s and the 2000s. It really blew up. And, you know, during that time, almost every name that you could think of, people were registering. And, you know, they were doing that. A lot of people were doing that for investments. You know, you, you hear these crazy stories of, you know, how someone bought a domain back in the late 90s or even mid-1990s and sold it for millions of dollars later on. And, you know, they're not making any more um, domains. So, of course, .com, .net, .org, those are the most popular. And we have seen a number of new um, GTLDs come out, you know, the, you know, the extensions like .hosting, .hosting dot online stuff but those names still don't seem to be really catching on just like just like the dot coms nets and orgs are so in my opinion dot com is always king and the more gtlds and stuff that comes out the more the value of the, the dot com is going to increase and you know i say that looking at it like real estate you know, if we look at uh, around major metropolitan areas such as, um, you know, Chicago, New York City, you know, the really prime real estate is going for millions of dollars to get a nice piece of property. And, you know, this property, there's not, they're not making anymore. As soon as someone owns it, they, they hold on to it. And sometimes they may sell it, they may lease it or build stuff. But really, you know, there is no more. You know, in New York City, there's not a bunch of property that has not been developed. And so in order for you to obtain that, you have to buy it at a premium rate, you know, much more than and what um, you originally would have had you invested in all that property in many years earlier, back in the early, early days. And that's the same with domains. You know, I like to consider them virtual real estate that, you know, once you register a domain, it is yours as long as you continue to renew it. Now, so that brings me to my, my answer for this person that was asking this. I said, you know, the internet has grown in popularity. Um, dot coms, they keep going up in value. The more GL GTLDs that come out, they keep increasing the value of dot coms but there's still a way to find good domain names. And so I'm gonna talk about that in this video specifically because very often I'll go off and register domains as investments. And you know, I'm not really looking, I don't consider myself a professional domainer. I'm not looking to you know, buy a ton of domains and then resell them. That's not my primary business model here at Name Hero. Our primary business model is you know, having the best web hosting around and making it affordable for small businesses, medium-sized businesses and individuals alike. You know, that's what we are here for. But I still like to buy domains in my free time and sometimes I do sell them for a premium rate. And most often though, people will email me as asking to buy one of the domains and you know I a lot of times I won't even sell it or you know I will get a fair appraisal and say you know here's the appraisal but I want a little bit more than that if I'm gonna part ways with it and you know so a lot of times we don't even even make a deal but there are times that, that I have but still you know those of you that are coming to name hero and you're starting a new website or maybe even start a new reseller hosting business which, which we see a lot of I want to remind you that yes a lot of the good domains are taken Yes, especially even if you include the word host in your domain, a lot of that is taken. But also there's a lot of domains that are coming available every single day because people don't renew them. And we see this all the time at Name Hero. When people, we have hundreds of thousands of domains registered through us here at Name Hero, but not near all of them are renewed every single year. Customers, they come on, they start a site, they register a name, and then they, you know, move on to something else or choose a different name and they let domains expire. So, you know, domains only yours as long as you pay the renewal rate every single year. And so again, when people move on from projects, they, you know, if they haven't used it, sometimes they'll just let it go. So let's talk about this. If I go over to our domain, Domain search engine here at Name Hero. You know, you can quickly search for any domain that you like really quick. You know, so let's just type in something we know is taken, like webhost.com. Of course, it's going to be taken. All the other TLDs are going to be taken as well. It's a very popular name. Now, if we go over to a site that I like called expireddomains.net. Now, this is 100% free to use. And I created a login. And I think if you don't create a login, you're kind of limited on the features that you can use. So it's 100% free to create. 
And I found myself using this site all the time, and I find uh, a lot of good domains that have been deleted, which means people had failed to renew them. And once someone fails to renew a domain, there's about 30 days, which is called the grace period, 30 to 45 days, depending on the registrar. And then after that grace period, it goes into a period called redemption. And redemption is where the registrar charges a lot more than the regular fee for, to renew the domain to get it back. And then after it passes redemption phase, then the domain is back available. They delete it and it's made back available. So this expired domains.net site, and again, I've featured it on the YouTube channel a couple times, it lists these domains as they are deleted. So. Um, most of the time when you see these, they have not been re-registered. So if you create you a free account and you log in, it looks like this. And again, they, you can use the free version, but the filters are kind of limited. Or not the free version, it's all free. You can use the unlogged in version, but there's not as many filters. So if I look through here, it says deleted.com. If I click this drop down, it shows us how many deleted.coms over the years. So let's look down here at 2006. You know, they have 3.3 3 million in their archive. Now see, watch how this has grown. So just as the names have become registered, also the ones that are deleted are becoming more and more. So this gives you an opportunity to take advantage of some of these names that are being deleted. And you can see it kind of staggered here in 2018, 2017. And they had like a million five a month, a million five a month, and it's kind of a million eight, a million seven. So still it's, you know, it's increasing the ones that are deleted. So if I click on deleted.com domains, I'm then presented a list of all the deleted domains that they have in their database. And so uh, it shows right now they've got 2.2 uh, million .coms that are deleted. Now again, they've got filters for the net, .org, info, and all that. But me personally, I like .com, so that's what I'm searching for. Now, so when I'm talking to someone about registering a domain for their business or their website, I like to start here because you can f most likely find a good domain uh, for a great price here and for you know the regular registration rate or just a domain for an investment. So the power behind this tool was clicking the show filter. And this is why it's important that you create a login for free um, because it gives you all these extra filters. If you don't, again, these don't, are not in there. So I like starts with, contains, or in with. I like the contains. And so let's say I was searching for hosting. We'll just type that in. I want hosting in the domain. I want it to be a .com. I don't want any numbers or characters or hyphens. And that's all I'm going to select here. I'm going to go in here and apply the filter. All right, now i got to reset it a little bit. So I can't go, for some reason, if you do too many of these, it just shows you nothing. I don't know why that is. And still not getting it, so let's just clear this here and see what's in here. And I might be too broad here with hosting right now. All right, so if I type in hosting and still I'm getting, you know, some names with a, a letter or a, a number and some with a hyphen, but I am still getting some, like linuxdedicatedhosting.com. That was dropped today and it's available. So you can see here, this shows if someone else has went ahead and registered it. Um, so it shows if it's still available. So now if I take over this Linux dedicated hosting, and this is just an example that I'm gonna use, I go over to our search engine and type it in here, you can see it is available. So I could go ahead and register this domain now. Once was available, once was taken, now it's available. And so for $12.98 a year, I can have this domain. And yeah, that's pretty good because we are Linux servers, dedicated hosting for dedicated servers. You know, that's not a bad domain. Um, and so what I like to do too is search by ABY. So this is a um, the birth year of the domain using the first found date from archive.org. So this shows, you know, a lot of people do this to see if the domain has backlinks to it still, to see if it still has SEO juice. Um, and I don't personally buy domains to create SEO backlink sites and all that. I find that kind of arbitrary, but some people do it and they have success with it. But you can sort by ABY, and I like to do this because a lot of times I can find really good domains that, you know, people had registered and hung on to for many years, but then failed to renew. So look at this one nochargehosting.com. Hey, I'm not for in the free web hosting business, but um, you know, it's still a pretty good domain. It was dropped 19 days ago. And so you can kind of go down this list and let's try to apply a filter now. Let's just try to remove the hyphen. Move the hyphen, apply. Okay, now at least it gets us a little bit cleaner results here. So still sorting by the ABY, no charge hosting, insight web hosting, pimp hosting, hosting and web design, SWE hosting. So see how you're finding more names that maybe you didn't even think of. It just kind of gives you some ideas that, you know, these were once registered and they're no longer. So the ABY shows the first time this was picked up in the Internet Archive, archive.org. So, in a no charge hosting was first registered in 99. It, it saw a site there and it was just dropped 19 days ago. 
And so typically the more premium names are on the older, older end of the ABY score. So that's what I like to use here. Um, but now, so hostingcircuit.com, that's yeah, pretty good. I've also noticed that sometimes, like wireless web hosting, sometimes they'll say registered, but I still like to double check them because just last weekend I picked up a couple premium domains. I picked up um, javascriptsite.com and it actually showed registered in here. And I checked it in Name Hero and it was available. Whoops. And so just in case, you know, it's always worth um, testing. See, look, wireless web hosting it is available. Um, so I could attempt to register it. Now, in some rare cases, we find that, you know, they are actually registered and still showing as available. But most of the time, if it's showing available here, then it is available. So wirelesswebhosting.com. You know, that's not bad. Maybe I'll go back and buy that for an investment. Or if you're watching this video, maybe you'll buy it. Um, you know, me personally, I think that web hosting is kind of old. You know, I think the term web hosting in itself is old, which is one of the reasons why we don't use it in Name Heroes domain. And I think people that are looking for hosting now are getting more specific you know they're looking for more full service based um, instead of hosting but that was just an example because I know there was at one point in time you couldn't find hardly any good.com with the web host in it or hosting and now these are starting to become available but it's the same thing in regardless of what niche or niche that you're looking in you know a lot of times if you put a keyword in here you're gonna find something I know cryptocurrency has been another huge one so let's just type in crypto this has been all the jazz here in the last five, 10 years. Um, really five years, not 10, but let's just see what, what's available for the crypto. I know these were hard to find for a while. If we sort by ABY again, let's see here, it's up and down. And for some reason it's taking forever to sort. So crypto, it doesn't really make sense. But see, now there's some, um, you know, there's some more crypto domains in here. So, you know, regardless of what you're looking for, and this has page one and 151, so there's a lot of them in here. Um, so, you know, regardless of what niche or niche you're in, you can find good domains that have been dropped. And, you know, if nothing else, this will also give you some ideas about what people have registered over the years, you know, to help you jog your memory, so to speak. Now, if you followed our YouTube channel, you know, I personally didn't register Name Hero in the late 90s. That's when it was registered. So actually someone had it. I was dead set on the name Name Hero and I went out and bought, bought it for a premium. You know, I paid way more than $12.98 to register Name Hero because I had to get it from someone else. And it was a private party and they were willing to sell it, but they of course had their price. And we went back and forth for several weeks until we came upon a price that was um, that I agreed on and they agreed on it and they sold the name to me. But I always tell people, you know, if you're just getting started, when I started Name Hero, I'd already had about 15 years under my belt in online businesses. So I had capital built up and I had a budget to buy a premium domain. But there's still some premium domains that you can get, um, you know, by searching deleted domain sites. And, you know, still sometimes you might come across a domain that you just randomly think of that's available. That's happened to me um, as well. You know, sometimes I'll just be thinking of something and I'll enter it in um, and it's available and I grab it as well. So, you know, the purpose of this video is to let you know that, yes, there's a lot of dot-coms that are taken. Um, the internet's growing, it's going to continue to grow, and they're not making any more. They're making more GTLDs, but you know, once the dot com's registered, it is registered. But you can find some that are still on the deleted list. Now, there are services out there such as Snap Domains. That's one that I've used before, and I think it's snapdomains.com. And what you can do with them is you can order a back order on a domain. And what it does is if you have a, one of your favorite domains, you know, you really want it, you can order a back order on it. And if that name ever drops, they've actually got an algorithm and an API that actually searches and checks that. And if it becomes deleted, they'll snap it up a lot of times, hence their name, um, before it hits a site like this. So this doesn't always have the very best because sometimes those do get um, snagged up early. And I know there's several domain investors that monitor domain that way as well but still this generally will show you domains that um, you know are still available that you can register and so you know I'd like to I've, I've now started that I'll check here if I'm wanting to register .com I'll check for deleted ones first I'll come over here since it's all free and you know fairly easy and um, and go from here and then move on out um, to my other options if I can't find anything and I will warn you, this can be a little bit of an addicting thing um, because you'll notice a lot of times you'll see stuff and like, hmm, this is a good idea for maybe a future site or maybe just an investment. Um, you know, so, you know, pre-warning there, don't spend all your time on it, but it can be a lot of fun. 
And you know, I've done this with diets, weight loss um, websites, um, blogs, blog hostings. Let's let's type that in here. Let's type in just blog and see what comes up. I picked up blogplugins.com last week on here, so I thought that was a, a fairly good domain, blogplugins.com. And you know, I don't know, maybe I'll sell the domain, maybe I'll develop a, a site about blog plugins, maybe I'll develop something that you know pushes name here. I I don't know. You know, I just know that someone else will probably register it if I didn't, so that's why I picked it up. So and if I start Search blogs. You can look here. You know, blog in your gear. That didn't make sense. Cast your blogs. So some of these, you know, they do not make sense. But the fact this these are registered like in 2001. Um, you know, sometimes you can get good ones here. Let's see, blogator.com. You know, that's not blogator. That's not horrible. You know, that might be a, a good um, blog hosting site or or something like that. So let's see if we. Sometimes press is good too. Not WordPress, but just press like um, is good to find related domains. Shearpress.com, and see that says that's registered. So again, even if it says registered in here, I like to always take it over to Name Hero and give it a check. Hit enter, and it is taken. So you can always check the who is and see that this was updated again. It was registered on 520. So that was yesterday. So this does, did become available, Shear Press, and someone picked it up. You know, you can also look if these other TLDs are taken, you know, that also indicates that it might be of somewhat value, which it, I think it shows on here, some of them here. Let's see. This shows here the status of the .com, the status of the .net, the .org, .biz, .info, and dot, what's the D? Um, dot de so and that is info yeah so this will show you here the green shows that those are available the red shows the other ones are taken so like virtual office express has the dot net taken and now it also says the dot com is taken so you know it, for those of you looking for a good domain or just looking for some domain investments check out this site you know play around with it again it's something i really do like and you know as i mentioned at the beginning you do want to create a free account because you can filter a lot better. Again, if the free account, not the, it's all free, but with the non-registered account, you can't get all these filters here because you can also, you know, restrict the length and also, you know, put out some like the no adult names and stuff if you're not looking for that as well. So all kinds of, of different options there, you know, and I was actually looking for four letter domains the other day because those are, are very valuable, but a lot of times you don't even see any of those. So if I just go nothing and go to max four characters and click apply filter, you know, see that has four characters, but a lot of these kind of don't make any sense. So like 96 for cv-c.com. So if I take out the hyphen, if I remove no hyphen, apply it again. You can see a lot of these are random, but I mean, back to 97 for L, for LHP2.com, it's a strange name. It looks, it looks like someone's already picked that one up. But, you know, I know the Chinese, a lot of people in China were purchasing the four-letter domains um, not too long ago because I sold one of them for a pretty good amount um, that just became available. It didn't even make much sense to me, but they still got it. Let's do no numbers and just play around here and see. You might come across something really good. Um, but again, a lot of those, a lot of the short ones are taken quickly, but again, I could sit here all day. Yep. Nothing there. So if we take out the numbers and hyphens, we're not getting anything like that. If we go to, let's go to six and see sometimes six can be as well. Yep. So we still, we're getting some names here, but it's like a, a bunch of gibberish, but you never know. Sometimes you run across something that could become of value. So um, you know, for what it's worth, this is um, you know, it's a fun exercise to do when you're wanting to start that new domain. If you have a client and the client's in a specific industry, kind of run through this, you know, to get you some ideas to present to the clients. You know, I'm sure they would appreciate it as well because even though the site is out there, a lot of people just don't know about it, don't know how to use it. And, you know, also if it does say registered here, make sure you check it here to make sure. So at Name Hero, I built the platform initially to handle all my domain investments I had made, and then we branched out in the host seen all this other stuff. So, you know, I certainly understand what it's like to manage uh, many domain names. And, you know, I hope you'll find a lot of that same value inside of our platform. And if you have names at GoDaddy or Namecheap and you want to bring them into the platform, we try to make that, um, you know, very easy as, as well, just by clicking transfer a domain and, you know, proceeding through those steps. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope um, the user that asked the question, I was going to send them this video just to, you know, say why so many domains are taken and, you know, how to still find a good one without getting too frustrated. And so I hope it also helped you and thanks for using us here at namehero.com.